Today, I'm going to share some toothpick puzzles with you. Historically, they are known as matchstick puzzles, where people that went to restaurants got matchbooks or match boxes full of matches and used those sticks to make puzzles while they were waiting for their food. So here I've made out a square using four toothpicks, and now I'm gonna add another square. So how many toothpicks do I need for that? You might think you need four, but you actually only need three because one side is already there. So I'm gonna build a square of four squares. So in matchstick puzzles or toothpick puzzles, in this case, you were asked to either move sticks or remove them, take them away, to make new shapes or transform the shapes. So for this particular puzzle, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 sticks. We have four small squares making up one large square. And I'm going to ask you to remove only two sticks to leave behind two squares. So how could you do that? So mathematicians often use the strategy of trial and error. That means trying something out and maybe you'll make a mistake or an error. So you try something else out and you learn from your errors. So for example, I might lift off these two sticks and realize, huh, okay, well I've removed two, but I still have three squares there. So that doesn't work. So what else could I do? So try something different. If I remove the same sort of same position sticks anywhere on the square, it's going to still leave me three squares. So I need to try something different. What could I do? Hmm. If I remove these two vertical ones, now I have two rectangles. Those aren't squares, but now we're down to two shapes. So still not the same. Still doesn't work. So I'm going to try something else. Have you figured it out yet?